Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Peter Oluwoch, a stock market researcher and investor. I talk to people about the stock market, telling them to save, invest, grow wealth. That are the three pillars we are looking at. My aim is very simple, to help us all save money. If you get money, save. If you get 1,000, save even 100 shillings. If you have 10,000, save 1,000 shillings. Please save. That is our aim. Today's topic is very simple. How do you tell the stock market bottoms? Buying stock market bottoms. That is the topic. Buying stock market bottom. How do you tell you've reached the bottom? How do you tell we have reached the lowest, the lowest, the lowest, the lowest? One way to tell is very simple. The news will make headlines. The news will make headlines. The things will be so bad. The situation will be so bad. The thing will make headlines. Oh, this is happening. Oh, this is happening. Oh, this is happening. It will be news headlines. It will be the front page of Daily Nation. Or front page of uh, Standard. The Standard. It will make headlines or the front page of uh, business daily or on the front page of the people daily. That is how to tell that stock has reached the bottom. Let me give you an example. KPLC, Kenya Power and Lighting Company, they distribute power. After Kenyan produces power, Kenyan is Kenya gen Power Generating Company, after Kenyan produces power, it gives power to KPLC and KPLC distributes it. About uh, last year, this is 2022, so in 2021, KPLC was making a lot of headlines. Oh, there's corruption here. Oh, transformers. Oh, what happening? Oh, power blackout. In fact, there was too much power blackout. Even a monkey would cause a power blackout in KPLC. A monkey will step on a transformer or step on some wires and then there will be power blackout in the whole Kenya. Then of course those guys at KPLC will come on TV and tell us, oh, there was a power blackout, it was caused by a monkey. <laughs> and you wonder, a monkey, a monkey is causing power blackout in Kenya. Things were terrible at KPLC. And it was a lot of news on the front pages. So what happened? The price of KPLC had dropped, 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 dropped to 1.3 shillings. Kenya shillings. So I told uh, my friends in the Telegram group to buy. But they have a Telegram group. The link is below in the description. Join. You will learn a lot. So I told guys to buy. So there was a lady, Pretty Nyakano. Pretty Nyakano asked me, okay, Pretty wanted to know a good cheap stock to buy. I told her, buy KPLC. KPLC is good. Then, I'm not sure whether she bought, but I think she didn't buy. Because the news was so bad, things were so terrible. KPLC was in a mess. I told Pretty Nyakano, buy KPLC. This stock will go up. Of course, Pretty didn't buy, but of course there are those who bought. Like Abdi, I remember Abdi bought and he commented buying at, I think, about... He waited and he bought, I think, 1.35. Can I tell you what happened? KPLC went up from 1.3 shillings to 1.4 shillings, 1.5 shillings, 1.678. KPLC gave us nearly 70% return in 2021. So those who bought gained. Well, I'm not uh, giving you my own stories. I'm reading from Jim Cramer. Jim Cramer is one of the American millionaires and investors. He made almost 400 million shillings. Dollars, not shillings. He made about 400 million dollars in the stock market. So a man who can make that money, 
he has this. So I'm trying to borrow his wisdom so that we can learn from him and so that we can also make some money. So this is what he says. Amazingly, at every bottom, stories about how horrid the market is have become staple. If the market whose worries aren't on the front page, then simply wait. Do what? Wait. The bad market news must be on the front page. If it's not on the front page, my friend, wait. The bottom has not yet reached. There hasn't been enough pain outside the little financial world to create a bottom. There must be pain in the market. It must be so bad that it is on the front page of the newspapers. It is on the television. It must be the breaking news. As in things are worse. Oh, things are the worst of the worst. That is the time to buy. Warren Buffett says, when people are fearful, when people are afraid, buy. Get greedy, buy. That is the best time to buy. Then you hold, you can hold for uh, four months, five months, six months. Then people will get excited, eh? sell to them. Of course, me, I'm teaching short-term investing. Short-term, there is less than one year. But I've even made it shorter. I'm mean, looking at how if we can make money in 30 days. Buy today, sell tomorrow. Buy this week, sell next week. Buy this month, sell next month. That is what I'm teaching people. If we can make money quickly and faster. But of course, I also know you can do mid-term or long-term investing. But you can also do you can also do sell within three, four, five months. You can hold between three, four, five months so that you get a bigger returns. Like my friend Sekon Ereng. He likes holding for a, a while so that uh, the whole thing gets fatter, so that he can make a big kill. We disagree with him. I disagree with his theory, but that's him. I cannot change him. Me, I'm teaching people, even if you can make 1,000 shillings, kula, wenda zako. 2,000 shillings, kula, wenda zako. 3,000 shillings, kula, wenda zako. And we keep doing this, month after month, week after week, month after month, year after year, and our money grows. That is compounding. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question, drop your question. I will answer all questions. Subscribe. Bye.